credo is have a good time, it's make believe. Get here when you can. We understand traffic's a bear. Okay? All right, bye-bye. Probably not going to have that completed or have one. I'm going to bring up. What's up, homie? I'm sorry to interrupt you. What would you like to drink? Well, that's the thing we're looking for. And welcome to yet another edition of Smasher Trash Independent Filmmaking, the television program. Now tonight's episode, we have a few things going on. Number one, we have the induction of George Stover. Well, not so much induction, but he does get his Lifetime Achievement Award. This was in 2012. We also have some footage from the Garden of Eden premiere, worldwide premiere in Baltimore City. That also was 2012. And Frank Lama talks to Jared No about the red camera. But the most fantastic thing tonight that we are here in the studio for is having East Coast independent filmmaker Kevin Kangas right here in the studio. Kevin, welcome to Smash the Trash. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, let's dive into it. I'm going to guess, what was it, mid-90s, late 90s? When did you decide to get into doing a serious first feature film? To actually direct one, you know, make a movie, basically? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, maybe you had some false starts or whatnot, but, I mean, at some point in your life you said, you know, I've got some ideas, you know, let's get serious about this. Well, I'd been, I'd been writing for a long time, and, uh, you know, I started doing scripts probably when I was about 18 when I started writing scripts. And then in college,
save your precious Luana Lee. Listen to me. There's still time to stop the bomb. Bomb? bomb. What? I can stop it with my cell phone. Everybody listen. Jenny, come here. Stay here, baby. Let her go, Q-tip. Old man, keep playing with whatever you're playing with. I really don't care. Yeah, look at him standing there. <laughs> Afraid to do anything to us. Don't what you ask. Deactivate the bomb. The bomb? Bomb. <laughs> I went off before we even got here. <laughs> you don't want to lose another one today, do you? <laughs> now I need a new plan. What? I'll tell you what you could do, you rotten. Oh! Picture. Do you know her? Oh, yeah, I remember those two. Romeo and Juliet. This creepy guy, as you put it, is friends with your mother. Yeah. He came here to find you and to stop an evil act. We don't have much time. Master Zhu is planning on poisoning all the students from the August Academy. What position of the Kama Sutra are you want to try to? Dream on, old man. The only position I'm interested in is manager. Oh. Why do I get the impression you're lying to me? Disorderly conduct? Harassing a girl? Have you gone totally off the deep end? I don't care how crazy it sounds, O'Baron. A lot of people are gonna die if you don't get a ton of that antidote stuff here, right now. I will bring her back to you. I promise you that. There you are! Oh my god, it's you, that creepy guy. Stay away from me. Well, you can trust me, Jesse. I'm your friend. <laughs> don't cry, honey. We'll fix this mess. That's what we do. We're fixers. news and i am here in madhouse manor the monster wax museum and tourist attraction in bridgeport open year round this place never fails to draw a crowd i am here right now with the host of the mansion mr madman magestro and the creator of the manor mr raymond hawthorne good evening gentlemen ah uh, thank you brenda madhouse manor wax museum has been a family-run business scaring boils and ghouls for 30 thrilling years. But this Halloween season, we have made a great deal of renovations. Isn't that right, Mr. Hawthorne? That's correct, Magistro. All of the exhibits have been retrofitted with animatronics and will be completely interactive. It will be a grand opening to die for. Well, do you think it would be possible to get a tour for our viewers? But of course. Will you do the honors and bring the manor to life, Raymond? With pleasure. It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> right this way, Miss hmm? Wyman. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, what does this exhibit do? It, it seems kind of empty. This is our surprise room. Surprise room. Um, okay, what exactly do you mean by that? Well, a lot of colored lights, monsters, and scary noises keep the person so distracted that, that uh, they don't realize that a monster is sneaking up on them. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, <laughs> gee, uh, that was unexpected. Um, thank you. Um, let's go to your control room and conclude this interview. <laughs> but of course, Miss Wyman, right this way. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> well, there you have it. Just a few of the new and improved creepy attractions here at Madhouse Manor. I'd like to thank Madman Magestro and Raymond Hawthorne for the wonderful tour. <laughs> it's been our pleasure, Brenda. And folks, please be sure to walk. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Robert Long, an independent filmmaker and the creator of Smasher Trash, IndieFilmmaking.com. I worked out in Hollywood for many years. I'm now out here on the East Coast getting ready to do my next movie, and I need your help. Now Madhouse Manor is a story of revenge set in the 1980s, and I've been lucky enough to get some great actors on board with this. Also, we have secured some fantastic locations. And we plan to go old school with this movie. That's right, we're going to do the effects as practically as possible. That means no green screen and no CGI. But as I said, we need your help. And we've got some great perks as well. We're going to be giving away the movie on DVD. We're going to be having the posters that are signed. We're going to be having screen use props as incentives. And we're going to, of course, do the wonderful, you've got your name and title as part of the credits and thank you. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. So please, remember to give to the Madhouse Manor Project. We want to make this a reality. Right now, let's check on Madman Magestro and Raymond and see how they're doing with the victims in the corridors of the madhouse. Axel, what the hell did you do? Why is this man trying to kill us? It's not my fault. Well, folks, remember to give to the Madhouse Manor campaign. I guarantee you, it will be one hell of a movie.